and welcome to the America's Society. I'm Susan Siegel. I'm president and CEO of the America's Society of the Council of the Americas. And I want to give a special welcome this evening to uh, my dear friends, Ambassador Gutierrez, the Peruvian ambassador uh, to uh, the UN, Ambassador Valdivieso, who came up here for Washington um, for this evening, and his lovely wife, welcome. And of course, our friend, the Consul General, uh, Tenorio and his lovely wife for being here this evening. Welcome, and we're so happy to have you in our home uh, once again. Tonight, the America Society is pleased to launch Entre la Espada y la Pluma, El Inca García Lazo de la Vega y sus Comentarios Reales, edited by Raquel Chang Rodriguez and published by Fondo Editorial Pontifis Pontificia Universidad Católica de Peru, del Peru. This publication is the published proceedings of the International Symposium on the Inca Garcia Lasso that was organized last year by the America Society and City College of New York and other institutions. It, was, it celebrated the 400th anniversary of Inca Garcia Lasso's master work, Royal Commentaries, I congratulate Raquel on this very significant achievement. And by the way, I hope many of you were here last year for the symposium because it was really extraordinary. In addition to Raquel Chang Rodriguez, who is the distinguished pro professor at CCNY and the Cooney Graduate Center and a member of our Literature Advisory Board, tonight events features Senora Patricia Revelo the director of Fondo Editorial, PUCP, Dr. Frank Graziano, the John D. MacArthur Professor of Hispanic Studies um, and Chair of Hispanic Studies at Connecticut College, and of course, Mr. Mario Vargas Llosa, a very special welcome to you this evening, the world-renowned novelist who participated in last year's symposium and contributed to the publication in fact, his conversation with Ra Raquel at the America Society last year appears as the concluding component of the book. Mario Vargas Llosa was also the recipient of the America's Society Gold Medal in 1988. Their presentations this evening will be preceded by a performance of the colonial music from Cusco by choral group Mer Meridionalis the music is from Inca Garcia Lasso's period and will serve as an introduction to his world. And I've been listening to it while they practice today and it's really terrific. This event on the seminal figure of Inca Garcia Lasso and his masterwork, Royal Commentaries, is a particularly important for the America Society and its mission of promoting greater awareness of the cultures and societies of our Western Hemisphere neighbors. And Peru holds a very special place in our activities and hearts here at the America's Society. In fact, we hope, if you have not already done so, that you will visit in our gallery downstairs our wonderful exhibition of 3,000 years of pre-Columbian art of the Hecatepeque, I finally got it, uh, <laughs> valley in the north of Peru. I'd like to acknowledge um, the wonderful people that support our literature program. First of all, Amalia La Croce de Fortabat, our honorary benefactor and long-term supporter of Review Magazine and our literature programs for over three decades. And of course, Jane Gregory Rubin. I wanna thank you and the Reed Foundation and Inter-Americas um, for your long-term, your long-time support, and not just support, but advice um, to the America Society Literature Program. Um, you have been a supporter of ours for many years, and of course you have supported us in this program along with um, the Cooney Graduate Center, especially its interdisciplinary conference on Inca Garcia Lasso de la Vega and his royal commentaries, 1609-1617, a rereading for the 21st century presented last October by Cooney and the Society. The foundation is also the underwriter of the publication being celebrated this evening and of the John Carter Brown Library, the source of some of the illustrations in the book. 
Finally, I'd like to thank Daniel Shapiro, director of our literature program here at the America Society, and his team for all their efforts in organizing this outstanding program. Now please sit back and enjoy the musical prelude featuring the Mario Dionalis, conducted by Sebastian Zubietta, our director of our music program. They will be performing um, a Quechua professional, a pros processional hymn and a piece by composer Gutierrez Fernandez Hidalgo. Again, thank you all for being here this evening and enjoy the program. 